Third time now that he's going to see Betts. He struck him out twice. And then another single and an RBI for Barnes. Betts ropes. That's a fair ball down the line. That's going to bring in one. Here comes A.J. Pollock. And rounding third and hitting home and scoring is Austin Barnes. Mookie Betts does it for the Dodgers. A double, and they lead it 3 to nothing. Then sinker again, and Mookie Betts just too good. First time strikes out, second time strikes out on the changeup. This time makes Brandon Woodruff and the Milwaukee Brewers pay with a bases clear double right here. Runners work first and second. Now they score, and Mookie's celebrating. First and second one gone. It's Turner. Runners take off on the first pitch with no throw. So the Dodgers run it aggressively on the bases. Benson Seeger execute the double steal. It's one of the best times to steal a base when a reliever comes in. He's focused on the hitter, and they take advantage of the little things. The Dodgers putting themselves in a great spot to expand the lead. And that's off the end of the bat into right. Charging it is Betts. And tagging and scoring is Ozuna. Three nothing. Atlanta, they check at third to make sure that Ozuna with apparently perfect base running didn't leave early, but now Bob Guerin's onto the phone. And they may want to take another look at that. Will catch, and the only thing that prevents him from throwing out Ozuna, watch the transfer. Great catch right there. Worry. They're going to make sure. Here's a high fly ball into right. Back is Betts on the move on the track. He's got it to end the inning. What a catch by Mookie Betts. Made the defensive play of the game last night. May have turned around game number five. May have turned around this series. And now on the ball hit by Ozuna up. And up against the wall to end the top of the fifth. Fire up the Dodgers, leading by three. Lifts this one way up there. It's like Betts didn't see it at first. Now goes back, jumps, and he does it again. Mookie putting his stamp all over the NLCS defensively. Watch how he times. This is a taller fence than center field, and he gets way up. He knew the timing. Once he tracked the ball, he knew if he jumped before the fence, too many times you get too close to the fence, and the fence knocks you down. We saw that in center field with a, with Pache, and I'll tell you what, between Bellinger and Betts, we have seen some classic game-changing moments. Eight foot wall out there almost hit his head on the rim. There he goes. No throw. That is a stolen base. And now again and this time officially last now has struck out seven there goes Betts. Double steal throw down is too late on the strikeout at the plate of Turner a double steal and that's the second successful double steal that the Dodgers have executed this postseason and it's second and third with only one out seven eight and he is greeted by Betts a shot into right back at the wall and it's gone one pitch one more run and the first Dodger postseason home run for Mookie Betts seven to one well, there's that first pitch swing I was talking about. He tried to do it now in the fourth at bat, and the ball does carry to right field here. Well, in case you're wondering if that was a home run in Dodger Stadium, the answer is yes. That would have been a home run in Dodger Stadium.
Six RBIs this postseason. Ground ball, make it seven. Here comes Peterson, another run for the Dodgers. They lead five to nothing, and it's another two-out run for L.A. The Dodgers entering this postseason, they haven't done it much because they've actually hit a lot more home runs as the postseason went on, but they were a big... They had a team sign of barrels are overrated. This would fall in that category. Just find hits. And they had a sign with their hands that they would shake their hands as if, you know what, not exactly a barrel. They've gone to different signs since they've heated up with hitting a bunch of homers, but... So there goes Pats. Swing and a miss, and no chance. Stolen base. Number three in this World Series for Mookie Betts and number five this postseason. High leg yeah. kick, great jump. Easy bat. <laughs> and then Adam is playing around, acting like he was going to pull Mookie's left arm off the bag. Here's one into right, hard hit. And Bats up to grab it, two down. And Julio appreciates it. Betts made it look rather routine. Got a great jump. The ball in play. I just hit a rocket. Well, you hit it to the wrong guy. I mean, this has been a postseason where out in right field, it has just been one play after another. Here's the 0-2 to Betts. High fly ball center back at the wall and it's gone Betts has made it three to one Dodgers here in the eighth inning Mookie with a blast into left center field wow during the year he hit over 100 points higher right-handed versus left-handed 16 home runs off of right-handers. Didn't hit a home run against a left-hander. Tom talked about it earlier. This ball was scorched. Yeah, breaking ball, middle, middle. He knew it. 